Hello, I'm Howard, pastor of the Roseville New Church, and welcome to Spiritual Shorts. Today we continue our series on Swedenborg's Rules of Life. If you missed our previous episodes, let me briefly catch you up. We are exploring the usefulness of Swedenborg's Rules of Life. These rules were discovered in his personal papers, not his theological writings, but in his personal papers after his passing. These rules can guide us in aligning our lives with divine providence and deepening our spiritual practice. This series itself emerged from a recent study comparing the moral and ethical practices of the Stoics with Swedenborg's spiritual teachings. Stoicism is a philosophy that emerged in the third century BCE. It teaches that a good life is achieved through virtue, wisdom, and self-control, emphasizing inner peace regardless of external circumstances, regardless of what's happening around us. Today we're looking at the third rule, to observe propriety of behavior and to keep the conscience clear. This rule stresses the importance of aligning our actions with our spiritual values, ensuring our, that our behavior reflects the inner truths we live by. Swedenborg explains that when a person's inner and outer self are not in alignment, a battle develops. And this ballot battle is experienced as a spiritual crisis or temptation. Swedenborg, like the Stoics, believed that true contentment comes from aligning actions with spiritual principles. Proper behavior safeguards our spiritual state and leads to a life of integrity and grace. Jesus emphasized this when he condemned the hypocritical religious leaders of his time. What sorrow awaits you teachers of religious law and you Pharisees? Hypocrites, for you are so careful to clean the outside of the cup and dish, but inside you are filthy, full of greed and self-indulgence. You blind Pharisees, first wash the inside of the cup and the dish, and then the outside will become clean too. Maintaining a clear conscience is crucial. Conscience is born from reformation and regeneration, and it guides us in resisting temptations. Without a conscience, people commit evil acts without any remorse. But Seneca noted, a consciousness of wrongdoing is the first step to salvation. He was highlighting the importance of conscience in moral integrity. Our conscience faces constant attacks from negative forces. Swedenborg described how these forces distort our perceptions, emphasizing the need to keep our conscience clear by shunning evils and aligning with divine truths. To live with propriety and a clear conscience, we must follow divinely revealed truths, the Ten Commandments as best we understand them. We must practice self-control and virtue, emphasized by the Stoics like Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, and Seneca. We must trust in God's guidance and strive to align our actions with His will. As we embrace propriety and maintain a clear conscience, we enrich our spiritual lives and draw closer to the Lord. Let us live out our values, guided by the wisdom of Swedenborg's teachings and the timeless truths of the Stoic philosophers. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Spiritual Shorts. 
Make sure to check back next week because we will conclude this series. God bless you.